Surah and Nisa, the women, is the fourth chapter of the Quran and contains 176 verses. The Surah primarily deals with the rights and responsibilities of women, social and economic justice, inheritance laws, and the concept of monotheism. Isred did the translation of the Quran, Surah and Nisa, the women. Surah and Nisa, the woman, verses 1 to verses 176. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. 4. 1. O mankind. Be dutiful to your Lord, who created you from a single person, Adam. And from him, Adam. He created his wife, Hawa, Eve. And from them both he created many men and women and fear Allah through whom you demand your mutual rights. And, do not cut the relations of, the wombs, kinship. Surely, Allah is ever an all-watcher over you. 4. 2 and give unto orphans their property and do not exchange, your, bad things for, the, good ones. And devour not their substance, by adding it, to your substance. Surely, this is a great sin. 4. 3. And if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with the orphan girls, then marry, other, women of your choice, two or three, or four. But if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly, with them, then only one are, the captives and the slaves, that your right hands possess, that is nearer to prevent you from doing injustice. 4. 4. And give to the women, whom you marry, their ma, obligatory bridal money given by the husband to his wife at the time of marriage, with a good heart. But if they, of their own good pleasure, remit any part of it to you, take it, and enjoy it without fear of any harm, as Allah has made it lawful. 4, 5, and give not unto the foolish your property which Allah has made a means of support for you, but feed and clothe them therewith, and speak to them words of kindness and justice. 4, 6, and try orphans, as regards their intelligence, until they reach the age of marriage. If then you find sound judgment in him, release their property to them, but consume it not wastefully, and hastily fearing that they should grow up and whoever amongst guardians is rich, he should take no wages, but if he is poor, let him have for himself what is just and reasonable, according to his work. And when you release their property to them, take witness in their presence, and Allah is all-sufficient in taking account. 4. 7. There is a share for men and a share for women from what is left by parents and those nearest related, whether, the property be small or large, a legal share. 4, 8, and when the relatives and the orphans and al masakan the poor, are present at the time of division, give them out of the property, and speak to them words of kindness and justice. 4, 9, and let those, executors and guardians, have the same fear in their minds as they would have for their own, if they had left weak offspring behind. So let them fear Allah and speak right words. 4, 10, verily, those who unjustly eat up the property of orphans, they eat up only a fire into their bellies, and they will be burnt in the blazing fire. 4. 11. Allah commands you as regards your children's inheritance. To the male, a portion equal to that of two females. If, there are, only daughters, two or more, their share is two-thirds of the inheritance. If only one, her share is half. For parents, a sixth share of inheritance to each if the deceased left children. If no children, and the parents are the, only, heirs, the mother has a third. If the deceased left brothers or, sisters, the mother has a sixth. The distribution in all cases is, after the payment of legacies he may have bequeathed or debts. You know not which of them, whether your parents or your children, are nearest to you in benefit. These fixed shares are ordained by Allah. And Allah is ever all-knower, all-wise. 4. 12. In that which your wives leave, your share is a half if they have no child. But if they leave a child, you get a fourth of that which they leave after payment of legacies that they may have bequeathed or debts. In that which you leave, the, your wives, share is a fourth if you leave no child.
but if you leave a child, they get an eighth of that which you leave after payment of legacies that you may have bequeathed or debts. If the man or woman whose inheritance is in question has left neither ascendants nor descendants, but has left a brother or a sister, each one of the two gets a sixth, but if more than two, they share in a third. After payment of legacies he, or she, may have bequeathed or debts, so that no loss is caused, to anyone. This is a commandment from Allah. And Allah is ever all-knowing, most forbearing. 4. 13. These are the limits, set by, Allah, or ordainments as regards laws of inheritance. And whosoever obeys Allah and his messenger, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, will be admitted to gardens under which rivers flow, in paradise, to abide therein, and that will be the great success. 4. 14. And whosoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, and transgresses his limits, he will cast him into the fire, to abide therein, and he shall have a disgraceful torment. 4. 15. And those of your women who commit illegal sexual intercourse, take the evidence of four witnesses from amongst you against them, and if they testify, confine them i.e. women to houses until death comes to them or Allah ordains for them some other way. 4. 16. And the two persons, man and woman, among you who commit illegal sexual intercourse, punish them both. And if they repent, promise Allah that they will never repeat, i.e. commit illegal sexual intercourse and other similar sins, and do righteous good deeds, leave them alone. Surely, Allah is ever the one who accepts repentance, and he is, most merciful. 4. 17. Allah accepts only the repentance of those who do evil in ignorance and foolishness and repent soon afterwards. It is they to whom Allah will forgive and Allah is ever all-knower, all-wise. 4. 18. And of no effect is the repentance of those who continue to do evil deeds until death faces one of them and he says, now I repent, nor of those who die while they are disbelievers, for them we have prepared a painful torment. 4. 19. O you who believe, you are forbidden to inherit women against their will, and you should not treat them with harshness, that you may take away part of the ma you have given them, unless they commit open illegal sexual intercourse, and live with them honorably. If you dislike them, it may be that you dislike a thing and Allah brings through it a great deal of good. 4. 20. But if you intend to replace a wife by another and you have given one of them a kantar, of gold i.e. a great amount, as ma, take not the least bit of it back. Would you take it wrongfully without a right and, with, a manifest sin? 4. 21. And how could you take it, back, while you have gone in unto each other, and they have taken from you a firm and strong covenant. 4. 22. And marry not women whom your fathers married, except what has already passed. Indeed it was shameful and most hateful, and an evil way. 4. 23. Forbidden to you, for marriage, are, your mothers, your daughters, your sisters, your father's sisters, your mother's sisters, your brother's daughters, your sister's daughters, your foster mother who gave you suck, your foster milk suckling sisters, your wives' mothers, your stepdaughters under your guardianship, born of your wives to whom you have gone in. But there is no sin on you if you have not gone in them, to marry the daughters, the wives of your sons who spring, from your own loins, and two sisters in wedlock at the same time, except for what has already passed. Verily, Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. 4. 24. Also, forbidden the women already married, except those captives and slaves, whom your right hands possess. Thus has Allah ordained for you. All others are lawful, provided you seek them in marriage. With ma, bridal money given by the husband to his wife at the time of marriage, from your property, desiring chastity, not committing illegal sexual intercourse. So with those of whom you have enjoyed sexual relations, give them their ma as prescribed. But if after a ma is prescribed, you agree mutually, to give more, there is no sin on you. Surely, Allah is ever all-knowing, all-wise. 4. 25. 
and whoever of you have not the means wherewith to wed free, believing women, they may wed believing girls from among those, captives and slaves, whom your right hands possess, and Allah has full knowledge about your faith, you are one from another. Wed them with the permission of their own folk, guardians, awliya, or masters, and give them their ma according to what is reasonable. They, the above said captive and slave girls, should be chaste, not adulterous, nor taking boy friends. And after they have been taken in wedlock, if they commit illegal sexual intercourse, their punishment is half that for free, unmarried, women. This is for him among you who is afraid of being harmed in his religion or in his body. But it is better for you that you practice self-restraint, and Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. 4. 26. Allah wishes to make clear what is lawful and what is unlawful to you, and to show you the ways of those before you, and accept your repentance, and Allah is all knower, all wise. 4. 27. Allah wishes to accept your repentance, but those who follow their lusts wish that you, believers, should deviate tremendously away from the right path. 4. 28. Allah wishes to lighten the burden for you, and man was created weak, cannot be patient to leave sexual intercourse with woman. 4. 29. O you who believe, eat not up your property among yourselves unjustly except it be a trade amongst you, by mutual consent. And do not kill yourselves, nor kill one another, surely, Allah is most merciful to you. 4. 30. And whoever commits that through aggression and injustice, we shall cast him into the fire, and that is easy for Allah. 4. 31. If you avoid the great sins which you are forbidden to do, we shall remit from you your small sins and admit you to a noble entrance, i.e., paradise. 4. 32. And wish not for the things in which Allah has made some of you to excel others. For men there is reward for what they have earned, and likewise, for women there is reward for what they have earned, and ask Allah of his bounty. Surely, Allah is ever all knower of everything. 4. 33. And to everyone, we have appointed heirs of that property, left by parents and relatives. To those also with whom you have made a pledge, brotherhood. Give them the due portion, by wazia, wills, etc. Truly, Allah is ever a witness over all things. 4. 34. Men are the protectors and maintainers of women because Allah has made one of them to excel the other, and because they spend, to support them, from their means. Therefore the righteous women are devoutly obedient, to Allah and to their husbands, and guard in the husband's absence what Allah orders them to guard, e.g. their chastity, their husband's property, etc. As to those women on whose part you see ill conduct, admonish them, first, next, refuse to share their beds, and last, Beat them, lightly, if it is useful. But if they return to obedience, seek not against them means, of annoyance. Surely, Allah is ever most high, most great. 4. 35. If you fear a breach between him twain, the man and his wife, appoint, two, arbitrators, one from his family and the other from hers. If they both wish for peace, Allah will cause their reconciliation. Indeed Allah is ever all-knower well acquainted with all things. 4. 36. Worship Allah and join none with him in worship, and do good to parents, kinsfolk, orphans, al masakin the poor, the neighbor who is near of kin, the neighbor who is a stranger, the companion by your side, the wayfarer, you meet, and those, slaves, whom your right hands possess. Verily, Allah does not like such as are proud and boastful. 4. 37. Those who are miserly and enjoin miserliness on other men and hide what Allah has bestowed upon them of his bounties. And we have prepared for the disbelievers a disgraceful torment. 4. 38. And, also, those who spend of their substance to be seen of men, and believe not in Allah and the last day, they are the friends of Shaitan, Satan, and whoever takes Shaitan, Satan, as an intimate then what a dreadful intimate he has. 4. 39. 
and what loss have they if they had believed in Allah and in the last day? And they spend out of what Allah has given them for sustenance. And Allah is ever all knower of them. 4. 40. Surely. Allah wrongs not even of the weight of an atom, or a small ant. But if there is any good, done, he doubles it, and gives from him a great reward. 4. 41. How? Will it be? Then, when we bring from each nation a witness, and we bring you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, as a witness against these people. 4. 42. On that day those who disbelieved and disobeyed the Messenger, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, will wish that they were buried in the earth, but they will never be able to hide a single fact from Allah. 4. 43. O you who believe. Approach not as Salat, the prayer, when you are in a drunken state until you know, the meaning, of what you utter, nor when you are in a state of Janaba, i.e. in a state of sexual impurity and have not yet taken a bath, except when traveling on the road, without enough water, or just passing through a mosque, till you wash your whole body. And if you are ill, or on a journey, or one of you comes after answering the call of nature, or you have been in contact with women, by sexual relations, and you find no water, perform tiamum with clean earth and rub therewith your faces and hands, tiamum. Truly, Allah is ever oft pardoning, oft forgiving. 4. 44. Have you not seen those who were given a portion of the book, the Jews, purchasing the wrong path, and wish that you should go astray from the right path? 4. 45. Allah has full knowledge of your enemies, and Allah is sufficient as a wali, protector, and Allah is sufficient as a helper. 4. 46. Among those who are Jews, there are some who displace words from, the, right places and say, we hear your word, O Muhammad shalalahu alaihi wasalam, and disobey, and, hear and let you, O Muhammad shalalahu alaihi wasalam, hear nothing. And Rina with a twist of their tongues and as a mockery of the religion, Islam. And if only they had said, we hear and obey, and, do make us understand, it would have been better for them, and more proper, but Allah has cursed them for their disbelief, so they believe not except a few. 447. O oh, you who have been given the scripture, Jews and Christians, believe in what we have revealed, to Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, confirming what is already, with you, before we efface faces by making them like the back of necks, without nose, mouth, eyes, etc., and turn them hindwards, or curse them as we curse the Sabbath breakers. And the commandment of Allah is always executed. 4. 48. Verily, Allah forgives not that partners should be set up with him in worship, but he forgives except that anything else, to whom he pleases, and whoever sets up partners with Allah in worship, he has indeed invented a tremendous sin. 4. 49. Have you not seen those who claim sanctity for themselves? Nay, but Allah sanctifies whom he pleases, and they will not be dealt with injustice even equal to the extent of a fatila, a scalish thread in the long slit of a date stone. 4. 50. Look, how they invent a lie against Allah, and enough is that as a manifest sin. 4. 51. Have you not seen those who were given a portion of the scripture? They believe in Jit and Taghut and say to the disbelievers that they are better guided as regards the way than the believers, Muslims. 4. 52. They are those whom Allah has cursed, and he whom Allah curses, you will not find for him, any, helper. 4. 53. Or have they a share in the dominion? Then in that case they would not give mankind even an Akira speck on the back of a date stone. 4. 54. Or do they envy men? Muhammad shalalahu alaihi wasalam and his followers. For what Allah has given them of his bounty. Then we had already given the family of Ibrahim, Abraham, the book and al-Hikmah, as sunnah, divine inspiration to those prophets not written in the form of a book, and conferred upon them a great kingdom. 4. 55. Of them were, some, who believed in him, Muhammad shalalahu alaihi wasalam, and of them were, some, who averted their faces from him, 
Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, and enough is hell for burning them. 4. 56. Surely, those who disbelieved in our ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., we shall burn them in fire. As often as their skins are roasted through, we shall change them for other skins that they may taste the punishment. Truly, Allah is ever most powerful, all wise. 4. 57. But those who believe, in the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism, and do deeds of righteousness, we shall admit him to gardens under which rivers flow, paradise, abiding therein forever. Therein they shall have aswajin mutaharatan, purified mates or wives, having no menses, stools, urine, etc. And we shall admit him to shades wide and ever deepening, paradise. 4. 58. Verily. Allah commands that you should render back the trusts to those, to whom they are due. And that when you judge between men, you judge with justice. Verily, how excellent is the teaching which he, Allah, gives you. Truly, Allah is ever all hearer, all seer. 4. 59. O you who believe. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam. And those of you, Muslims, who are in authority. And, if you differ in anything amongst yourselves, refer it to Allah and His Messenger, Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you believe in Allah and in the last day, that is better and more suitable for final determination. 4. 60. Have you seen those, hypocrites, who claim that they believe in that which has been sent down to you, and that which was sent down before you, and they wish to go for judgment, in their disputes? to the Taghut, false judges, etc., while they have been ordered to reject them. But Shaitan, Satan, wishes to lead him far astray. 4. 61. And when it is said to them, Come to what Allah has sent down and to the Messenger, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam. You, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, see the hypocrites turn away from you, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, with aversion. 4. 62. How then, when a catastrophe befalls them because of what their hands have sent forth, they come to you swearing by Allah, we meant no more than goodwill and conciliation. 4. 63. They, hypocrites, are those of whom Allah knows what is in their hearts. So turn aside from them, do not punish them, but admonish them, and speak to them an effective word, i.e. to believe in Allah, worship him, obey him and be afraid of him, to reach their inner selves. 4. 64. We send no messenger, but to be obeyed by Allah's leave. If they, hypocrites, when they had been unjust to themselves, had come to you, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, and begged Allah's forgiveness, and the messenger had begged forgiveness for them. Indeed, they would have found Allah all forgiving, one who accepts repentance, most merciful. 4. 65. But no, by your Lord, they can have no faith, until they make you. O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, judge in all disputes between them, and find in themselves no resistance against your decisions, and accept, them, with full submission. 4. 66. And if we had ordered them, saying, kill yourselves, i.e. the innocent ones kill the guilty ones, or leave your homes, very few of them would have done it. But if they had done what they were told, it would have been better for them, and would have strengthened their faith. 4. 67. And indeed we should then have bestowed upon them a great reward from ourselves. 4. 68. And indeed we should have guided him to a straight way. 4. 69. And whoso obeys Allah and the Messenger, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, then they will be in the company of those on whom Allah has bestowed his grace, of the prophets, the Siddiquan, those followers of the prophets who were first and foremost to believe in him, like Abu Bakr as Siddiq, the martyrs, and the righteous. And how excellent these companions are! 4.70. Such is the bounty from Allah, and Allah is sufficient as all knower. 4.71. O you who believe! Take your precautions, and either go forth, on an expedition, 
in parties, or go forth altogether. 4. 72. There is certainly among you he who would linger behind, from fighting in Allah's cause. If a misfortune befalls you, he says, Indeed Allah has favored me in that I was not present among them. 4. 73. But if a bounty, victory and booty, comes to you from Allah, he would surely say, as if there had never been ties of affection between you and him, Oh! I wish I had been with them. Then I would have achieved a great success, a good share of booty. 4. 74. Let those, believers, who sell the life of this world for the hereafter fight in the cause of Allah, and whoso fights in the cause of Allah, and is killed or gets victory, we shall bestow on him a great reward. 4. 75. And what is wrong with you that you fight not in the cause of Allah, and for those weak, ill-treated and oppressed among men, women, and children, whose cry is, Our Lord, rescue us from this town whose people are oppressors, and raise for us from you one who will protect, and raise for us from you one who will help. 4. 76. Those who believe, fight in the cause of Allah, and those who disbelieve, fight in the cause of Taghut, Satan, etc. So fight you against the friends of Shaitan, Satan. Ever feeble indeed is the plot of Shaitan, Satan. 4. 77. Have you not seen those who were told to hold back their hands, from fighting, and perform as Salat, a karmat as Salat, and give Zakat, but when the fighting was ordained for them, behold, a section of them fear men as they fear Allah or even more. They say, Our Lord, why have you ordained for us fighting? Would that you had granted us respite for a short period. Say, short is the enjoyment of this world. The hereafter is far better for him who fears Allah, and you shall not be dealt with unjustly even equal to the fatala, a scalish thread in the long slit of a date stone. 4. 78. Wheresoever you may be, death will overtake you even if you are in fortresses built up strong and high. And if some good reaches them, they say, this is from Allah. But if some evil befalls them, they say, this is from you. O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, say, all things are from Allah, so what is wrong with these people that they fail to understand any word? 4. 79. Whatever of good reaches you, is from Allah, but whatever of evil befalls you, is from yourself. And we have sent you, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, as a messenger to mankind, and Allah is sufficient as a witness. 4. 80. He who obeys the Messenger, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, has indeed obeyed Allah, but he who turns away, then we have not sent you, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, as a watcher over them. 4. 81. They say, We are obedient, but when they leave you, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, a section of them spend all night in planning other than what you say. But Allah records their nightly plots, so turn aside from them. Do not punish them, and put your trust in Allah. And Allah is ever all sufficient as a disposer of affairs. 4. 82. Do they not then consider the Quran carefully? Had it been from other than Allah, they would surely have found therein much contradictions. 4. 83. When there comes to them some matter touching public safety or fear, they make it known, among the people, if only they had referred it to the messenger or to those charged with authority among them, the proper investigators would have understood it from them directly. Had it not been for the grace and mercy of Allah upon you, you would have followed Shaitan, Satan, save a few of you. 4. 84. Then fight, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam in the cause of Allah, you are not tasked, held responsible, except for yourself, and inside the believers, to fight along with you. It may be that Allah will restrain the evil might of the disbelievers, and Allah is stronger in might and stronger in punishing. 4. 85. Whosoever intercedes for a good cause will have the reward thereof, and whosoever intercedes for an evil cause will have a share in its burden and Allah is ever all able to do, and also an all witness to, everything. 4. 86. When you are greeted with a greeting, 
greet in return with what is better than it, or, at least, return it equally. Certainly, Allah is ever a careful account taker of all things. 4. 87. Allah. La ilaha illa hua. None has the right to be worshipped, but he, surely, he will gather you together on the day of resurrection about which there is no doubt. And who is truer in statement than Allah? 4. 88. Then what is the matter with you that you are divided into two parties about the hypocrites? Allah has cast them back, to disbelief, because of what they have earned. Do you want to guide him whom Allah has made to go astray? And he whom Allah has made to go astray, you will never find for him any way, of guidance. 4. 89. They wish that you reject faith. As they have rejected, faith. And thus that you all become equal. Like one another. So take not all your protectors or friends, from them, till they emigrate in the way of Allah, to Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam. But if they turn back, from Islam, take, hold, of them and kill them wherever you find them, and take neither all your protectors or friends, nor helpers from them. 4. 90. Accept those who join a group, between you and whom there is a treaty, of peace, or those who approach you with their breasts restraining from fighting you as well as fighting their own people. Had Allah willed, indeed he would have given them power over you, and they would have fought you. So if they withdraw from you, and fight not against you, and offer you peace, then Allah has opened no way for you against them. 4. 91. You will find others that wish to have security from you and security from their people. Every time they are sent back to temptation, they yield thereto. If they withdraw not from you, nor offer you peace, nor restrain their hands, take, hold, of them and kill them wherever you find them. In their case, we have provided you with a clear warrant against them. 4. 92. It is not for a believer to kill a believer except, that it be, by mistake, and whosoever kills a believer by mistake, it is ordained that, he must set free a believing slave and a compensation, blood money, i.e. dr. be given to the deceased's family, unless they remit it. If the deceased belonged to a people at war with you and he was a believer, the freeing of a believing slave, is prescribed. And if he belonged to a people with whom you have a treaty of mutual alliance, compensation, blood money, dr. must be paid to his family, and a believing slave must be freed. And whoso finds this, the penance of freeing a slave, beyond his means, he must fast for two consecutive months in order to seek repentance from Allah. And Allah is ever all-knowing, all-wise. 4.93. And whoever kills a believer intentionally, his recompense is hell to abide therein, and the wrath and the curse of Allah are upon him, and a great punishment is prepared for him. 4.94. O you who believe, when you go, to fight, in the cause of Allah, verify, the truth, and say not to anyone who greets you, by embracing Islam, you are not a believer, seeking the perishable goods of the worldly life. There are much more prophets and booties with Allah, even as he is now, so were you yourselves before till Allah conferred on you his favors, i.e. guided you to Islam. Therefore, be cautious in discrimination. Allah is ever well aware of what you do. 4. 95. Not equal are those of the believers who sit, at home, except those who are disabled, by injury or are blind or lame, etc. And those who strive hard and fight in the cause of Allah with their wealth and their lives, Allah has preferred in grades those who strive hard and fight with their wealth and their lives above those who sit, at home, unto each. Allah has promised good, paradise. But Allah has preferred those who strive hard and fight, above those who sit, at home, by a huge reward. 4. 96. Degrees of, higher, grades from him, and forgiveness and mercy. And Allah is ever oft forgiving, most merciful. 4. 97. Verily. As for those whom the angels take, in death, while they are wronging themselves, as they stayed among the disbelievers even though emigration was obligatory for them, they, angels, say, to them, in what, condition, were you? They reply, we were weak and oppressed on earth. They, 
angels, say, was not the earth of Allah spacious enough for you to emigrate therein? Such men will find their abode in hell. What an evil destination! 4. 98. Except the weak ones among men, women and children who cannot devise a plan, nor are they able to direct their way. 4. 99. For these there is hope that Allah will forgive them. And Allah is ever oft pardoning, oft forgiving. 4. 100. He who emigrates, from his home, in the cause of Allah, will find on earth many dwelling places and plenty to live by. And whosoever leaves his home as an emigrant unto Allah and his messenger, and death overtakes him, his reward is then surely incumbent upon Allah. And Allah is ever oft forgiving, most merciful. 4. 101. And when you, Muslims, travel in the land, there is no sin on you if you shorten your salat, prayer, if you fear that the disbelievers may attack you, verily, the disbelievers are ever unto you open enemies. 4. 102. When you, O Messenger Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, are among them, and led them in as Salat, the prayer, let one party of them stand up, in Salat, prayer, with you taking their arms with them. When they finish their prostrations, let them take their positions in the rear and let the other party come up which has not yet prayed, and let them pray with you taking all the precautions and bearing arms. Those who disbelieve wish, if you were negligent of your arms and your baggage, to attack you in a single rush, but there is no sin on you if you put away your arms because of the inconvenience of rain or because you are ill, but take every precaution for yourselves. Verily, Allah has prepared a humiliating torment for the disbelievers. 4. 103. When you have finished as Salat, the prayer, congregational, remember Allah standing, sitting down, and lying down on your sides, but when you are free from danger, perform as Salat, a karmat as Salat, verily, the prayer is enjoined on the believers at fixed hours. 4. 104. And don't be weak in the pursuit of the enemy. If you are suffering, hardships, then surely, they, too, are suffering, hardships, as you are suffering, but you have a hope from Allah, for the reward, i.e. paradise, that for which they hope not, and Allah is ever all-knowing, all-wise. 4. 105. Surely, we have sent down to you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, the book, this Quran, in truth that you might judge between men by that which Allah has shown you, i.e. has taught you through divine inspiration. So be not a pleader for the treacherous. 4. 106. And seek the forgiveness of Allah, certainly, Allah is ever oft forgiving, most merciful. 4. 107. And argue not on behalf of those who deceive themselves. Verily, Allah does not like anyone who is a betrayer of his trust and indulges in crime. 4. 108. They may hide, their crimes, from men, but they cannot hide, them, from Allah, for he is with them, by his knowledge, when they plot by night in words that he does not approve, and Allah ever encompasses what they do. 4. 109. Lo! You are those who have argued for them in the life of this world, but who will argue for them on the day of resurrection against Allah or who will then be their defender. 4. 110. And whoever does evil or wrongs himself, but afterwards seeks Allah's forgiveness, he will find Allah oft forgiving, most merciful. 4. 111. And whoever earns sin, he earns it only against himself. And Allah is ever all-knowing, all-wise. 4. 112. And whoever earns a fault or a sin and then throws it onto someone innocent, he has indeed burdened himself with falsehood and a manifest sin. 4. 113. Had not the grace of Allah and his mercy been upon you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, a party of them would certainly have made a decision to mislead you. But, in fact, they mislead none except their own selves, and no harm can they do to you in the least. Allah has sent down to you the book, the Quran, and al-Hikmah, Islamic laws, knowledge of legal and illegal things i.e. the Prophet's Sunnah, legal ways, and taught you that which you knew not. And ever great is the grace of Allah unto you.
O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam. 4. 114. There is no good in most of their secret talks save in him who orders sadaka, charity in Allah's cause, or maraf, Islamic monotheism and all the good and righteous deeds which Allah has ordained, or conciliation between mankind. And he who does this, seeking the good pleasure of Allah, we shall give him a great reward. 4. 115. And whoever contradicts and opposes the messenger, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, after the right path has been shown clearly to him, and follows other than the believer's way, we shall keep him in the path he has chosen, and burn him in hell, what an evil destination. 4. 116. Verily, Allah forgives not, the sin of, setting up partners in worship with him, but he forgives whom he pleases sins other than that, and whoever sets up partners in worship with Allah, has indeed strayed far away. 4. 117. They, all those who worship others than Allah, invoke nothing but female deities besides him, Allah, and they invoke nothing but shaitan, Satan, a persistent rebel. 4. 118. Allah cursed him. And he, shaitan, Satan, said, I will take an appointed portion of your slaves. 4. 119. Verily, I will mislead them, and surely, I will arouse in him false desires, and certainly, I will order them to slit the ears of cattle, and indeed I will order them to change the nature created by Allah. And whoever takes shaitan, Satan, as a wali, protector or helper, instead of Allah, has surely suffered a manifest loss. 4. 120. He, shaitan, Satan, makes promises to them, and arouses in him false desires, and shaitans, Satan, promises are nothing but deceptions. 4. 121. The dwelling of such, people, is hell, and they will find no way of escape from it. 4. 122. But those who believe, in the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism, and do deeds of righteousness, we shall admit him to the gardens under which rivers flow, i.e. in paradise, to dwell therein forever. Allah's promise is the truth, and whose words can be truer than those of Allah? Of course, none. 4. 123. It will not be in accordance with your desires, Muslims, nor those of the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, whosoever works evil, will have the recompense thereof, and he will not find any protector or helper besides Allah. 4. 124. And whoever does righteous good deeds, male or female, and is a true believer in the oneness of Allah, Muslim, such will enter paradise and not the least injustice, even to the size of an akira, speck on the back of a date stone, will be done to them. 4. 125. And who can be better in religion than one who submits his face, himself, to Allah, i.e. follows Allah's religion of Islamic monotheism, and he is a Musan, a good doer, cv 2-112, and follows the religion of Ibrahim, Abraham, Hanifa, Islamic monotheism, to worship none but Allah alone, and Allah did take Ibrahim, Abraham, as a Khalil, an intimate friend. 4. 126. And to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth, and Allah is ever encompassing all things. 4. 127. They ask your legal instruction concerning women, say, Allah instructs you about them, and about what is recited unto you in the book concerning the orphan girls whom you give not the prescribed portions, as regards mar and inheritance, and yet whom you desire to marry, and concerning the children who are weak and oppressed, and that you stand firm for justice to orphans. And whatever good you do, Allah is ever all aware of it. 4. 128. And if a woman fears cruelty or desertion on her husband's part, there is no sin on them both if they make terms of peace between themselves, and making peace is better, and human inner selves are swayed by greed. But if you do good and keep away from evil, verily, Allah is ever well acquainted with what you do. 4. 129. 
You will never be able to do perfect justice between wives, even if it is your ardent desire. So do not incline too much to one of them, by giving her more of your time and provision, so as to leave the other hanging, i.e. neither divorced nor married. And if you do justice, and do all that is right and fear Allah by keeping away from all that is wrong, then Allah is ever oft forgiving, most merciful. 4. 130. But if they separate, by divorce, Allah will provide abundance for every one of them from his bounty. And Allah is ever all sufficient for his creature's need, all wise. 4. 131. And to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. And verily, we have recommended to the people of the scripture before you, and to you, O Muslims, that you all, fear Allah, and keep your duty to him, but if you disbelieve, then unto Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth, and Allah is ever rich, free of all wants, worthy of all praise. 4. 132. And to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. And Allah is ever all sufficient as a disposer of affairs. 4. 133. If he wills, he can take you away, O people, and bring others. And Allah is ever all potent over that. 4. 134. Whoever desires a reward in this life of the world, then with Allah, alone and none else, is the reward of this worldly life and of the hereafter. And Allah is ever all hearer, all seer. 4. 135. O you who believe, stand out firmly for justice, as witnesses to Allah, even though it be against yourselves, or your parents, or your kin, be he rich or poor. Allah is a better protector to both, than you. So follow not the lusts, of your hearts, lest you may avoid justice, and if you distort your witness or refuse to give it, verily, Allah is ever well acquainted with what you do. 4. 136. O you who believe. Believe in Allah, and his messenger, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the book, the Quran, which he has sent down to his messenger, and the scripture which he sent down to those before him, and whosoever disbelieves in Allah, his angels, his books, his messengers, and the last day, then indeed he has strayed far away. 4. 137. Verily, those who believe, then disbelieve, then believe, again, and, again, disbelieve, and go on increasing in disbelief. Allah will not forgive them, nor guide them on the, right, way. 4. 138. Give to the hypocrites the tidings that there is for them a painful torment. 4. 139. Those who take disbelievers for awliya, protectors or helpers or friends. Instead of believers, do they seek honor, power and glory with them. Verily, then to Allah belongs all honor, power and glory. 4. 140. And it has already been revealed to you in the book, this Quran, that when you hear the verses of Allah being denied and mocked at, then sit not with him, until they engage in a talk other than that. But if you stayed with them, certainly in that case you would be like them. Surely, Allah will collect the hypocrites and disbelievers all together in hell. 4. 141. Those, hypocrites, who wait and watch about you. If you gain a victory from Allah, they say, were we not with you? But if the disbelievers gain a success, they say, to them, did we not gain mastery over you and did we not protect you from the believers? Allah will judge between you, all, on the day of resurrection and never will Allah grant to the disbelievers a way, to triumph, over the believers. 4. 142. Verily, the hypocrites seek to deceive Allah, but it is he who deceives them. And when they stand up for a salat, the prayer, they stand with laziness and to be seen of men, and they do not remember Allah but little. 4. 143. They are swaying between this and that, belonging neither to these nor to those, and he whom Allah sends astray, you will not find for him a way, to the truth, Islam. 4. 144. O you who believe, take not for all ear, protectors, or helpers or friends, disbelievers instead of believers. Do you wish to offer Allah a manifest proof against yourselves? 
4, 145, v verily, the hypocrites will be in the lowest depths, grade, of the fire, no helper will you find for them. 4, 146, except those who repent, from hypocrisy, do righteous good deeds, hold fast to Allah, and purify their religion for Allah, by worshipping none but Allah, and do good for Allah's sake only, not to show off, then they will be with the believers, and Allah will grant to the believers a great reward. 4. 147. Why should Allah punish you if you have thanked him and have believed in him? And Allah is ever all appreciative, of good, all-knowing. 4. 148. Allah does not like that the evil should be uttered in public except by him who has been wronged. And Allah is ever all-hearer, all-knower. 4. 149. Whether you, mankind, disclose, by good words of thanks, a good deed, done to you in the form of a favor by someone, or conceal it, or pardon an evil, verily, Allah is ever oft pardoning, all-powerful. 4. 150. Verily, those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers and wish to make distinction between Allah and his messengers, by believing in Allah and disbelieving in his messengers, saying, we believe in some but reject others, and wish to adopt a way in between. 4. 151. They are in truth disbelievers. And we have prepared for the disbelievers a humiliating torment. 4. 152. And those who believe in Allah and his messengers and make no distinction between any of them. Messengers. We shall give them their rewards. And Allah is ever oft forgiving. Most merciful. 4. 153. The people of the scripture, Jews, ask you to cause a book to descend upon them from heaven. Indeed they asked Musa, Moses, for even greater than that, when they said, Show us Allah in public, but they were struck with thunder clap and lightning for their wickedness. Then they worshipped the calf even after clear proofs, evidences, and signs had come to them. Even, so we forgave them. And we gave Musa, Moses, a clear proof of authority. 4. 154. And for their covenant, we raised over them the mount and, on the other occasion, we said, Enter the gate prostrating, or bowing, with humility. And we commanded them, Transgress not, by doing worldly works on, the Sabbath, Saturday. And we took from them a firm covenant. 4. 155. Because of their breaking the covenant, and of their rejecting the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., of Allah, and of their killing the prophets unjustly, and of their saying, Our hearts are wrapped, with coverings, i.e. we do not understand what the messengers say. Nay, Allah has set a seal upon their hearts because of their disbelief, so they believe not but a little. 4. 156. And because of the, Jews, disbelief and uttering against Mayim, Mary, a grave false charge, that she has committed illegal sexual intercourse. 4. 157. And because of their saying, in boast, we killed Messiah, Yesa, Jesus, son of Mayim, Mary, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, but the resemblance of, Yesa, Jesus, was put over another man, and they killed that man and those who differ therein are full of doubts. They have no, certain, knowledge, they follow nothing but conjecture, for surely, they killed him not, i.e., yes sir, Jesus, son of Mayim, Mary. 4, 158, But Allah raised him, yes sir, Jesus, up, with his body and soul, unto himself, and he is in the heavens, and Allah is ever all-powerful, all-wise. 4. 159. And there is none of the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, but must believe in him, yes sir, Jesus, son of Mayim, Mary, as only a messenger of Allah and a human being, before his, yes sir, Jesus, or a Jews or a Christian's, death, at the time of the appearance of the angel of death, and on the day of resurrection, he, yes sir, Jesus, will be a witness against them. 4. 160. For the wrongdoing of the Jews, 
we made unlawful to them certain good foods which has been lawful to them, and for their hindering many from Allah's way. 4. 161. And their taking of Reba, usury, though they were forbidden from taking it and their devouring of men's substance wrongfully, bribery, etc. And we have prepared for the disbelievers among them a painful torment. 4. 162. But those among them who are well grounded in knowledge, and the believers, believe in what has been sent down to you, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, and what was sent down before you, and those who perform as salat, a karmat as salat, and give zakat and believe in Allah and in the last day, it is they to whom we shall give a great reward. 4. 163. Verily, we have inspired you, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, as we inspired Nu, Noah, and the prophets after him. We, also, inspired Ibrahim, Abraham, Ismi, Ishmael, Ashak, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob, and Al Azbat, the twelve sons of Jacob, Jacob, Yesa, Jesus, Ayub, Job, Yunus, Jonah, Haran, Aaron, and Suleiman, Solomon, and to Dawood, David. We gave the Zabu, Psalms. 4. 164. And messengers we have mentioned to you before, and messengers we have not mentioned to you, and to Musa, Moses, Allah spoke directly. 4. 165. Messengers as bearers of good news as well as of warning in order that mankind should have no plea against Allah after the messengers. And Allah is ever all-powerful, all-wise. 4. 166. But Allah bears witness to that which he has sent down, the Quran, unto you, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, he has sent it down with his knowledge, and the angels bear witness. And Allah is all-sufficient as a witness. 4. 167. Verily, those who disbelieve by concealing the truth about Prophet Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam and his message of true Islamic monotheism written with them in the Tarot, Torah, and the Injil Gospel, and prevent mankind from the path of Allah, Islamic monotheism, they have certainly strayed far away. Tafsir al Qurtubi, CV. 4. 168. Verily, those who disbelieve and did wrong, by concealing the truth about Prophet Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam and his message of true Islamic monotheism written with them in the Torah, Torah, and the Injil, Gospel, Allah will not forgive them, nor will he guide them to any way. Tafsir al Kurtubi. 4. 169. Accept the way of hell, to dwell therein forever, and this is ever easy for Allah. 4. 170. O mankind! Verily, there has come to you the Messenger, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, with the truth from your Lord, so believe in him, it is better for you. But if you disbelieve, then certainly to Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and the earth. And Allah is ever all-knowing, all-wise. 4. 171. O people of the Scripture, Jews and Christians! Do not exceed the limits in your religion, nor say of Allah aught but the truth. The Messiah, yes sir, Jesus, son of Mayim, Mary, was, no more than, a messenger of Allah and his word, b. And he was, which he bestowed on Mayim, Mary, and a spirit, Ru, created by him. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Say not, three, Trinity, cease. It is, better for you. For Allah is, the only, one Elah, God. Glory be to him. Far exalted is he, above having a son. To him belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. And Allah is all sufficient as a disposer of affairs. 4. 172. The Messiah will never be proud to reject to be a slave to Allah, nor the angels who are near to Allah. And whosoever rejects his worship and is proud, then he will gather them all together unto himself. 4. 173. So, as for those who believed, in the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism, and did deeds of righteousness, he will give the, due, rewards, and more out of his bounty. But as for those who refuse his worship and were proud, 
he will punish them with a painful torment. And they will not find for themselves besides Allah any protector or helper. 4. 174. O mankind! Verily, there has come to you a convincing proof, Prophet Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from your Lord, and we sent down to you a manifest light, this Quran. 4. 175. So, as for those who believed in Allah and held fast to him, he will admit them to his mercy and grace, i.e. paradise, and guide them to himself by a straight path. 4. 176. They ask you for a legal verdict. Say, Allah directs, thus, about al kalala those who leave neither descendants nor ascendants as heirs. If it is a man that dies, leaving a sister, but no child, she shall have half the inheritance. If, such a deceased was, a woman, who left no child, her brother takes her inheritance. If there are two sisters, they shall have two-thirds of the inheritance. If there are brothers and sisters, the male will have twice the share of the female. Thus, does Allah makes clear to you, his law, lest you go astray. And Allah is the all-knower of everything.